Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and today I want to show you how to create these type of custom backend pages. So here you can see I've created a page using just the views module, and I haven't written any code. And this page has a table which displays articles, but you can use it to display any type of content type. We also have the ability to run bulk operations on our articles. We can filter the articles by the title using this exposed filter, and we can see a actual count of how many articles are displayed on the page. And finally, we were able to add in a custom menu to the administration section. So you can access this page if you come to content, you can see articles here, or if you click on files, you can access the articles page. And this was all done again, using just the views module. So if you want to learn how to create these type of pages, stick around and watch the rest of the video. So let's start things off by going to structure and then scroll down and click on views and then click on add view and then enter in article admin as the view name. And then in the view settings section, make sure you select article from of type and sort by is set to newest first. Then check create a page because remember, we want to create an actual page and let's change the title to just articles and change the path to admin slash content slash articles. It is important that you change the path and that the path starts with admin slash content for the menu tab to appear. And then from the page display settings, select table instead of unformatted list because we want to display our articles as a table and leave everything as it is. And all of this can be changed later on. Then scroll down and click on save and edit. Now, if we scroll down to the preview section, we can see our single field, which is title. But let's go ahead and add in a few more fields. Let's scroll up to the fields section. And the first field we'll enter in is the changed date. So click on add and search for changed and add it to the view. From the date format dropdown, you can change the format of the date, but let's just leave everything as it is and then click on apply. Click on add again in the fields section and this time search for authored by. This will allow us to display the actual author of the article. So check it and let's add it and just leave everything as it is and click on add again, and this time search for published. This will display the published status of the article because we wanna be able to see published and unpublished articles. So let's add that in. And from the output format, let's select custom because if the published status equals true, that means it should display the word published. And then below in false, let's add in unpublished because if the published status equals false, that means it is unpublished. So click on apply. And finally, let's add in the operations links field. This will give us an edit and delete link. So let's add that to our view. And then if we scroll down, we can see title changed, authored by the user who edited the article, the published status, and then we have these operations links. And you can see here, we have edit and delete. Now let's scroll up, save the view, and let's go to this actual view and make sure everything is working. So I will open up a new tab and go to admin slash content slash articles. And here is our working view. Now, one thing you may notice is that it's actually hard to access this page. Yes, we can go directly to admin slash content slash articles, but let's add this page to the menu system so that it appears as a tab next to files from this page. So if you click on content, you can see a tab here. If you click on comments, you can see a tab. And also if you click on files, you will be able to see a tab. So let's go back to our view and let's click on this pencil icon, edit the view, and then click on no menu and then select menu tab. And in menu link title, let's just add in the word articles, but you can add in any 
title that you want. Scroll down and the parent needs to be administration and then click on apply. And then if we save the view, and I think we'll probably have to flush the cache. So go to configuration, performance, and clear all the caches. And then if we go to content, we should see articles right here. But let's fix it up so that it is on the right-hand side of files. Now to do that, let's edit our view again, go into our menu tab and change the weight to say 100. And then if we save it again, let's go and clear the cache because all of the menu tabs and the menu system is heavily cached. Come back here and now we have articles all the way to the right hand side. It is important to make sure that you have configured the permission to this view page correctly because let's see what happens if I grab this URL, open up a private window and go to it. What's gonna happen? Well, I've got access to the actual table. Of course, I can't see it using the admin theme, but I still have access to this table. And the reason for that, let me close this private window. If we edit our view, we can see here that the permission for this page is set to view published content. Now, the view published content permission is a very generic permission. Pretty much all roles in Drupal have that permission. I do know that for anonymous users to access just basic content on, on a Drupal site, they need to have view published content. What we need to do now is lock down this page so that only editors can access it. Now, every single site implements permissions and roles differently. But what I like to do, especially for these type of backend admin pages, I like to use this permission. It is under the node section and it is access the content overview page. Now, the reason why I like to use this permission is because this same permission is required. So let's just save it. That same permission is required to access this page. And generally, if you are going to give an editor access to this content page, well then they should have access to also any custom backend page like this articles page. But again, things may vary for your Drupal website, but the most important thing is to make sure that this page is locked down. Because if we copy this URL, open up a private window and go to it, we should get an access denied, which is exactly what we want. Okay, let's jump back to our view right here. And let's adjust the filters and add in an exposed filter, which will allow us to search the article titles. So let's edit our view and scroll down to the filter criteria section. You may remember that we added in a published field. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see all of our articles are published. And the reason why we can only see published articles is because we do have a filter here, which says to only show published articles. Let's remove that. And now if we scroll down, we can see one unpublished article, which is this article six. And here you can see that in the published column, it says unpublished. And if we scroll up and click on add in the filter criteria area and search for title, let's add that filter in and let's make it exposed. And from operator, you wanna select contains. And this means that any keyword that is entered into the exposed filter will be used to search the article titles. So let's save that and save the view. And now we can see our exposed title filter. And also we can see our single unpublished article. And if I search for say boat, because I do know the keyword boat is in article four, we should only see the boat article. If I remove that and search for car, we should only see article five because the keyword car is in article five. Perfect. Now, what happens if we search for an article that doesn't exist? So if I enter in test test, we get a blank page, which isn't that useful. We should actually display a message saying no articles found or something like that. Luckily, views 
can help us there. So let's edit our view. And in the middle column, click on add in the no results behavior section, and then just search for text. So I like to use the text area and then enter in no articles found. You can enter in anything that you want, but just chuck in no articles found and then click on apply and then save the view. And now you can see that we get the message no articles found when no results are returned. But if we remove the keyword from the exposed filter, we can see all of our articles. Now, another thing I like to put into these backend pages is some type of results summary, something that shows you how many articles you have in the system and also how many articles you are viewing on the current page. Let's edit our view and then click on add in the header section and then search for results and you should see this result summary. Add it to the view and let's leave the default tokens as they are and then click on apply. And then if we save our view, now we get an actual summary of the results. So it's telling us that it is displaying six articles of a total of six because I've only got six articles here. Now you can also add this to the footer. So let's do that now quickly. It's very easy to put in. Let's add it to the footer. And now if you scroll down, you can see it down in the footer. And this is handy for when a pager is displayed. Now, the final thing we're gonna do to this backend page is putting the ability to run bulk actions on our articles, such as publishing or unpublishing articles and also deleting articles. Now, to add in bulk operations, edit the view and then click on add in the fields section and just start typing the word operation in and you should see this node operations bulk form. Just add that field to the view and let's adjust it so that we can only see delete content, publish and unpublish. But most importantly, you wanna make sure that you select only selected actions. This means that the selected actions below will only be displayed. So click on apply, save the view and now we get this handy little action dropdown. And if you look on the right hand side, we can see checkboxes. Here you can select your checkboxes or you can select the whole page. But let's move it to the left hand side because it's not that useful being on the right hand side. So let's edit our view. And to rearrange fields, click on this little drop down arrow and then click on rearrange and then simply move node operations bulk form to the top and then click on apply. Save the view. And if we were to select, say, these two articles and then unpublish them, take note, they are published. If we run that action, we have now unpublished those two articles in a single go. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like. And also, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And if you have a question, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to learn more about Drupal and other CMSs, head over to webwash.net. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.